Good morning, students. Welcome to our lesson for today. In this lesson, we will learn to compare estimated experimental probabilities with theoretical probabilities, recognizing that when experiments are repeated, different outcomes may result. And increasing the number of times an experiment is repeated generally leads to better estimate of probability, which means the more times you do an experiment, the better is your probability result. We will be using the words experimental probability and theoretical probability. As we all know, probability is the measure of likelihood. How likely is something to occur? So each possible result of an experiment is called an outcome. And the sample space is the set of all possible outcome of an event of our, or an experiment. An event is basically something that we do to get an outcome. Examples here, rolling dice, the event, and the outcomes are the sides. The sample space is all the sides. That would be six. Spinning a spinner. This spinner has four sectors, and they are colored red, blue, green, and yellow. So this spinner has a sample space of four. The colors, red, blue, green, and yellow. Theoretical problem can be found without doing an experiment. This is the probability that we, have, we are already doing. You are given the dice, for example. You already know that it has six possible outcomes. One side is the number three. So to get a number three, you already know you have only one chance. So that's what we call theoretical. You don't need to roll the dice again and again. If you do that, then you get experimental probability. Experimental probability is found by repeating an experiment and observing the outcomes. Experimental probability is often used to estimate theoretical probabilities. So finding the theoretical probability, we divide the desired outcome over the total number of outcome based on what we see as the possible outcome of an event. So for example here, each letter of the word probable is written on a separate cards. The cards are placed face down and mixed up. What is the probability that a randomly selected card has a consonant? So our favorable outcome or uh, we desire here is to get a consonant so you have to count how many consonants are there so those are the letters p r b b and m so there are five consonants in there so out of eight letters of the word probable five are consonants so we just write probability of consonant is five out of eight or 0.625 or 62.5%. So we did not need to really uh, select a card. We already know, we just know it. So that's why we call it theoretical. Experimental probability are finding the probability of the result of an experiment. So for example here, this table shows the result of a spinner experiment. So that means they spin the spinner a number of times. So they just look at it and find the possible sample spaces. No. So what they did is to spin the spinner. That's the experiment. So to find the experimental probability, find the number of times that the favorable outcome occurs and then divide by the number of trials. So for this table, we see in here, the spinner has four sectors and they numbered it one, two, three, four. 
So, number 1 occurred 6 times. Number 2 occurred 11 times. Number 3 occurred 19 times. And number 4 occurred 14 times. So, that means they spin the spinner for how many trials? So, here, the outcome, number 4, occurred 14 times out of 15. Trial. So if you add all these occurrences, you will say 56 plus 11 plus 19 plus 14 is 50. So we know that they spin the spinner 50 times. So that's the number of trials. And 4 occurred 14 times. So we say that the probability is 14 out of 50 trials or 7 over 25 or 0 0.28. So the number 4 occurred 14 times out of 50 trials. Here is another example. In our table, we see the result of choosing one card from a deck of cards, recording the suit and then replacing the card. So that means you replace the card. You get a card, you replace it, get a card, put it back, get a card, put it back. That's the experiment that they did. And these are the results. They get heart five times. They get a diamond nine times. They get clubs seven times. And they get a spade five times. So what is the pro experimental probability of choosing a diamond? So in here, you need to find how many trials were in there. So you just you need to add five plus nine plus seven plus five. So that would be 26. So there were 26 trials. And how many are diamonds? 9. So now out of 26 trials, 9 times that the diamond occurred. So we say the probability of diamonds is 9 out of 26.